good morning students today we will discuss the ovarian hormone but before going to further discussion first we will take a quick revision of ovarian structure what is ovary ovaries are paired organ oval in uh, shape and it is attached to posterior surface of broad ligament of uterus by meso ovarian meso ovarian is a fold of peritoneum which is continuous with the outer surface of <coughs> the ovary the neurovascular structure enters the hilum of ovary via the meso ovarian the main function of ovaries are to produce oocytes and to produce the sex hormones estrogen and progesterone so if we discuss the ovarian structure it is mainly two part cortex and medulla the surface is formed by simple cuboidal epithelium and cortex it is com- uh, it is the outer layer which contains the developing follicle in different stages it is compact cellular layer it has two part outer fibrous layer called tunica albuginea and below it is germinal epithelium layer cortex contain following structure the ovarian follicle at different stages the ovarian follicle at different stages connective tissue cell and interstitial cell which form the thicca interna and the um, uh, anterior border uh, as i told you it is attached to the broad ligament but the posterior border of the ovary is free and it is related to the ampulla ampullary part of the falcon tube and the intrauterine life around 6 million of primordial follicle are formed in the ovaries but by the time of birth the number reduces to about 1 million and rest are degenerated and by the time of puberty these number of follicle further reduces to around 3 to 4 lakhs after menarche during each menstrual cycle only one follicle matures and releases its over and during every menstrual cycle only one ovum may release from any one of ovary either left side of ovary or right side of ovary that means both ovary doesn't ovulate at same time it's on alternate function of ovary as i told you its uh, function is secretion of female hormone and oogenesis now what are the ovarian hormones what are the different not only estrogen and progesterone are secreted from the ovary there are some other hormone which is also secreted from the ovary first one is estrogen yes it is very important its level is higher during the follicular phase and it drops just before the ovulation the progesterone as we have discussed its level peaks during the second half of uh, menstrual cycle or uh, uh, ovarian cycle after ovulation and inhibin relaxin it is also a ovarian hormone 
and in small quantity androgen is also released so first we will discuss the estrogen there are three forms of estrogen estradiol estrone and estriol now let us discuss its synthesis first so uh, uh, synthesis so uh, it's first from cholesterol it is converted to pregnenolone and then androestenodione from androestenodione it is converted to testosterone and by the action of aromatase enzyme it is converted to estradiol it can take another part from here also androestenodione to estrone and then estradiol So estrogen is um C is 18 steroid and its T half is 30 to 60 minute. <clears throat> in non-pregnant women, estrogen is secreted in larger quantity by theca interna cell and smaller quantity by corpus luteum of ovary. But in pregnant women, the larger amount is secreted by placenta. the most potent form is estradiol estradiol form is the most potent form and its uh, plasma level during follicular phase is around 30 to 200 picogram per ml so next come to its uh, metabolism in plasma it is transported uh, mainly by uh, albumin and a small quantity by globulin and it is degraded in liver and excreted in mainly in urine and a small quantity also in bile so estrogen are hormone that are important for the sexual and reproductive development mainly in women they are also referred as female sex hormone estrogen is a hormone that plays various role in body uh, in a female it helps in development and maintain both the reproductive system and the female characteristics such as breast pubic and hair Now next we will discuss the function of estrogen. We will discuss in it in following headings. First is effect on the ovarian follicle, effect on the uterus, on the fallopian tube, and what is the effect on vagina? And the sex secondary sexual character how it regulate what the effect of estrogen on development of secondary sexual character and on breast and its effect on bone so first we will discuss the effect of uh, on ovarian follicle so effect on uh, ovarian follicle estrogen uh, promotes the growth of ovarian follicle by increasing the proliferation of follicular cell the follicles increases in size gradually it provide uh, 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 the follicle get nourishment from the estrogen under the effect of estrogen the follicle uh, grows from the primordial follicle to the primary follicle and ultimately the mature granulosa cell i mean uh, mature uh, graphene follicle see it is mature graphene follicle with the granular radiata here it is the granulosa cell and it is the cumulus ovarus then what is the effects on uh, uterus estrogen prepares uterus for pregnancy all the changes are towards preparing the uterus for pregnancy by increasing its size blood supply 
the uh, effect on the endometrial glands estrogen also increases the uterine contractility it causes enlargement of uterus from the adulthood uh, childhood to adulthood size it increases the blood supply to endometrium see and the effect of estrogen the blood vessels increase in size and become more tortuous perforation and dilatation of endometrial blood vessels occur under the effect of estrogen the endometrial glands become more tortuous with increase in blood flow estrogen also increases the sensitivity of oxytocin on uterus and obviously it increases the uterine contractility then effect on the fallopian tube it increases the number and size of epithelial cells present on mucosal lining of fallopian tube it also increases the cilia movement and enhance the proliferation of granular tissue in the fallopian tube it is the fallopian tube it is the fimbriated end it is the infundibular part which lies in close contact with the um, ovary it is the ampulla isthmus and the interstitial part now effect on vagina it is the vagina so increases uh, the vagina uh, estrogen increases vagina epithelial proliferation changes it cuboidal to more stratified cells and estrogen makes vagina more acidic in nature from the alkaline to it makes more acidic and it to play uh, important role in protection from vaginal infection now next is effect on secondary sexual character estrogen has very important role in development of secondary sexual character the typical hair distribution like axillary pubic and scalp hair the skin become more soft and smooth under the effect of estrogen and typical uh, body structure is uh, narrow sh- uh, shoulder broad hip broad pelvis and uh, short structure of a female and voice is high pitch all these effect are under the effect um, under the effect of estrogen now effect on breast yes development of stomal tissue of breast growth of ductile system causes development of estrogen also causes development of alveoli and lobules of breast now what is its effect on bone estrogen has anabolic effect on bone it has osteoblastic activity but it causes early fusion of epiphyses with the shaft as compared to testosterone in male and it is the reason for the short stature of the female as compared to male so testosterone increases the thickness of bone by increasing bone matrix and deposition of calcium it also causes early fusion of epiphyses of long bone with the shaft as i told you you can see it here and during menopause this bone become tends to more weak and most osteoporotic in absence of or in deficiency of estrogen hormone so you can see here also it is the healthy bone and, and it is the osteoporotic uh, 
like uh, bone uh, under low estrogen level so estrogen deficiency is a pivotal cause of postmenopausal bone loss and contributes to age related bone loss in both sexes uh, estrogen has indirect positive effect on calcium metabolism and its deficiency reduces both intestine intestinal and renal calcium absorption it has a major it is a major regulator of bone metabolism in men and low estrogen level is associated with increase uh, risk of fracture even in setting of normal testosterone level so estrogen has also some role in men also estrogen deficiency plays an uh, a, a prominent role in the pathogenesis of osteoporosis in both sexes now what is its effect on no um, metabolism so um, now it is strong increases um, sodium and um, salt uh, retention uh so so uh, sodium and uh, water uh, absorption with increase in hcf volume um in it increases the bmr so my estrogen uh, has a uh, positive uh, anabolic effect on protein metabolism it increases the total body protein and uh, on fat it causes it tends to cause more fat deposition mainly in subcutaneous tissue buttock breast thigh and on electrolyte balance it causes uh, it tends to retain the sodium and water which may become significant uh, significant during pregnancy now next come to the estrogen regulation of estrogen so as i have uh, discussed earlier estrogen has both positive and negative feedback effect over the pituitary and hypothalamus so but most of time the feedback is negative negative during ls surge it has positive feedback effect which causes more, uh, more lh secretion and causes ls surge but apart from this most of time it has negative feedback effect from hypothalamus uh, from hypothalamus gnrh is released which acts on anterior pituitary causes secretion of fsh and lh which acts on the ovary leading to um, secretion of estrogen and estrogen in turn causes feedback inhibition over the anterior pituitary and hypothalamus and its level is regulated so that's all for the today next topic will be the next hormone thank you